Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. So, Injustice 2 has a June update that is being announced. There's general gameplay fixes, which I won't go into full detail. I'll drop the link in the description. But, more or less, um, a lot of the fixes are around some of the in-game mechanics, like certain jump attacks. Also, some gear loadout changes for the multiverse, specifically around the AI. It's logic for, you know, the opponent, along with the loadouts that you choose in addition to that it's going to be some changes to the mr freeze premiere skin it will now have a helmet and also the mother boxes are going to have a cost change so the bronze mother box will now cost 5,000 credits and the silver mother box will cost 10,000 now there's also going to be some stage specific fixes so for the bat cave the hanging hook environmental interaction now has a cooldown after being used Another change for the back cave is there was a bug that allowed the hanging hook environmental interaction to knock enemies slightly outside of the area boundary. So two major fixes for that stage. The Brainiac ship had a bug that caused characters to face the wrong way when using a data canister bomb. So that's another change. So the Metropolis stage will also fix a bug that caused punching bag visuals to linger after being interrupted while using the interaction. And the Slaughter Swamp stage will reduce the range in which the truck environmental interaction can be used. So big changes there if you're big into using environmental interactions. So be mindful of this coming up. Now next up is the most important part of the update, the character specific fixes. So the first one starts with Black Adam. The gear ability soul of Shazam now increases damage on initial hit of Shazam. So flip stance and meter burn. Also, the gear ability Seth Strike can now be done as a wake up, reversal, and a two in one canceled into. So that's really, really interesting right there. Should make some incredible combos going forward. Now, next up is Bane, a character who I've been very interested in using more after playing with him over the weekend. I will go over to some of the changes. So, Bane's mercenary elbow, when meter burn, will no longer do unscaled damage. So this change only applies when not in competitive and tournament mode. Another change is there was a bug that prevented his forward and backward throw to not reward a first hit bonus. So that's very helpful there. Now, this is a pretty crucial one right here. While in level 3 Venom, Shattering Cross, which is towards a medium, will no longer lose its armor breaking property when canceled into a fist slam. Now for Brainiac, slightly adjusted hit regions on Panic in the Sky towards a medium down light and hard. Now for Cyborg, there was a bug which caused the HUD UI for this character power to display the wrong icon, so that will be fixed. Now Darkseid has a couple of changes. So the character power Parademons will no longer sometimes immediately attack if the character button is still held down. There's also a bug where low burn, down and hard, could remain active with no visual effect if he was hit during a specific frame. And they also fixed a bug causing charging parademon to attack in the wrong direction under certain circumstances. I think those are some good balances right there. Now surprisingly, Deadshot only had one change. So it fixed a bug with causing an opponent to gain meter when killed by wrist cannon while poison ammo is active. And that's it for him. Now for Flash, the visual effects for Gear Ability Sonic Bolt will no longer disappear if Flash was hit during the recovery frames. Now for Green Arrow, a bug's being fixed preventing Canary's Kiss, which is Taurus and Hard, from receiving a damage boost when meter burn or perform as a bounce. And so, so that's a good change for Green Arrow mains. Now as far as Joker, they reduced the block stun on Shattering Tooth by 5 to prevent an inescapable block trap against most characters. So that's definitely going to affect Joker's combo potential now for poison ivy there's gonna be a bug that's fixed where the bed of thorns visual effects can linger when the move was not active and for scarecrow there's a bug being fixed which causes wake up attack to have no invincibility frames affects fear toxin and traumatize that's a great change for scarecrow now wonder woman's getting two fixes the first one's around the gear ability and Mathias protection so no longer loses armor when meter burn and then the other one's a bug causing upward Amalthea Bash when done as a wake up to lose invulnerability. And now you can actually see Red Hood on the character list. However, he's not available yet, but it's good to know that he's coming soon. And if you take a quick look, you can see silhouettes of some possible upcoming characters. Some of them look more obvious than others. 
So definitely, you know, in the comment section down below, tell me who you guys think the silhouettes are. Uh, we already know Sub Zero is coming out, Starfire. Looking at the silhouette, it looks like there's a raid in there, uh, an atom. I mean, definitely drop your comments down below. And also let me know which character fixes are going to affect you in your main. And tell me which ones you're interested in starting to use after the changes. Um, I was already contemplating on using Bane. I recorded a gameplay video of him over the weekend, which I was going to upload this week. So I like some of his changes. I know my buddy Savage Gamer uses Scarecrow, so he's happy with the change. And there's some other good ones and some that, you know, kind of alter the way the characters use a little bit, but nothing drastic. I think out of all of the changes, maybe Joker might be affected a little bit because of that stun change. But other than that, the, the balance changes are pretty good. I think they covered some um, bugs that needed to be fixed. However, there, there are some issues um, where people feel that Deadshot is broken. So I don't know if that's going to be fixed anytime soon, but definitely it's very common subject in the community and, you know, people are not liking the spamming factor of that shot. All right. So folks, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. If it's your first time checking me out, definitely hit the subscribe button for future updates. We are covering Injustice 2 for a very long time and, you know, we're going to have fun with it as well. All right. So peace out. Thank you.